everyone, it's Diabetic Danica, and you may have heard that you can now use your Dexcom G5 to make treatment decisions. This means that you can now use your G5 to treat for a low or dose for a high without having to do a finger stick first. Before using your G5 for treatment decisions, you should complete the training, which is available in the tutorial, getting started guide, and the full user guide, available at dexcom.com guides. Finger sticks are still required for certain things, but I'll talk about those later. Only the Dexcom G5 has been approved by the FDA for treatment decisions, and you can recognize the G5 by the white screens. Whether you're new to Dexcom or experienced, you should keep using your meter to make treatment decisions until you know how the G5 works for you. Don't rush. It may take days, weeks, or even months to gain confidence in using your G5 for treatment decisions. Then, when you're ready, you can start to make treatment adjustments based on your number and arrow. And be sure to talk to your healthcare professional about using the G5 for treatment decisions. Let's go over some examples of how you could use your G5 for treatment decisions. Say you look at your G5 and you see 101 with a down arrow. The down arrow means your blood sugar could go down up to 90 points in 30 minutes. So what you might do is eat a snack before you go low, because I think we'd all agree that preventing a low is much better than having to treat one that's already happening. Or let's say you were about to give insulin for your meal and you look at your G5 and you see 122 with one up arrow. You might decide to take a little more insulin because of that up arrow since you know that you're probably going to be higher soon. But if you're 122 with one down arrow, you might take a little less insulin than usual. The best thing is when you're high, like 320, you can just take insulin based on your correction factor and target glucose without having to take a finger stick. This means less pokes! Yay! On the same note, remember that it takes time for insulin to work, so make sure you wait at least two hours before giving additional insulin. For me, insulin can still be working for up to three hours. It's important that you work with your healthcare professional to figure out what works best for you. However, there are also times when you should use your meter and not your G5 for treatment decisions. Do you see both a number and an arrow? If not, use your meter. Do your symptoms match your reading? If not, use your meter. You know your body, so listen to it. Have you taken acetaminophen like Tylenol or Excedrin? If so, use your meter. Medications containing acetaminophen can cause false high readings. And of course, you still need to use your meter to calibrate at least every 12 hours. You might want to calibrate in the morning when you get up and then before bed. When you calibrate, make sure you use good finger stick technique. So make sure to wash your hands with soap and water and not use alcohol gel. And that's it. I know that I'm super excited about this amazing new use of the Dexcom G5. Anything that makes life with diabetes easier is a win for me. Thanks for watching. Bye.